Hey everyone and welcome back to geekyelemeter.com and in this video we are going to learn about the interposition in switches um, I've already made a tutorial for the basic switches I mean how we use them how we switch between layers and in, but in this one we're going to learn about the interpolation that means we're going to smoothen out the uh, switches between layers I'm going to show you in just a second what I really mean so um, I'm going to start off with the with making a face so I'm just going to make a face quite quick a simple face and I've used, I'm using the add point tool to make this face just clicking and dragging over the points making connecting points and I'm gonna press space to join those two points I'm gonna use the translate point tool just to um, adjust it a bit press enter and almost done alright so we have our face here, I'm going to fill it, I'm going to use the create shape tool, S click on any of the edge to select the path, the set of points and I'm going to select uh, color for the uh, face and yeah, this seems fine, press space to apply it, here it is, uh, I'm going to just, this chin seems to be a little off order, yeah, here it is, so here's the face and I'm going to make uh, hair right now, so I'm just going to make a simple hairstyle now the geeky one yep and just click and draw that's how easy it is and I'm gonna extend it and here it is press space to connect them and I'm gonna just set these points a bit adjust them uh, yeah now I'm gonna fill it. I'm gonna use the create shape tool, click on any of the edge, and I'm gonna select this dark brown color. Press space, and yeah, here you are. I'm gonna just simply adjust a few things of this hairs, and yeah, yeah, all right, this seems fine. Okay, now I'm gonna go for the eye. I'm gonna use the create shape tool. I'm gonna select the oval, and I'm gonna select a white color. So I'm gonna make an eyeball an eye and I'm gonna make an eyeball inside it so I'm gonna select the black color and I'm gonna make one eye uh, I like making eye without any strokes so I'm gonna remove the strokes yeah press enter deselect them yeah here it is alright fine so I'm gonna select it using the select tool and I'm gonna press ctrl plus E to copy it and ctrl plus V e to paste it here you are now it's already pasted and my uh, your 9 studio automatically selects the translate point tool and selects all the points of the new shape that I had copied so I'm simply gonna click and drag and here we are with the copied um, I just a little bit down yeah similarly with the same one I'm gonna select it and use the translate point tool and here we are alright so time for the um, nose so I'm gonna use the create point tool again to make a simple nose yep and uh, face uh, I mean a mouth so yeah here we are a smiling face I'm gonna use the create shape tool and I'm gonna fill the strokes on this nose and the mouth alright so here we are with a simple face and uh, yeah, uh, yeah I have forgot the ears so I'm gonna make an ear quite fast mm, yeah I'm just gonna press space and here we are with a I'm just gonna fill it with the same color as that I had filled the um, face so I'm gonna press space yeah I'm just gonna remove that stroke and I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit just to have a better look at what I'm doing I'm gonna use the translate point tool click on inside the shape and I can adjust it wherever I want um, I'm gonna place it press enter place it somewhere here
fine all right this looks fine i'm gonna select it to copy it so i'm gonna select the translate point two i'm gonna click in the shape to select it press ctrl plus c to copy ctrl plus v to paste it and i'm gonna click and drag to bring the shape here i'm gonna reverse it flip it horizontally so press this button right here and here you are with the flipped one and fine all right so this is our shape this i'm gonna zoom out a bit and yeah so here's our shape here's a nice little face i'm gonna name the layer double click on it and name the layer as face all right and i'm gonna name it front face because i'm gonna make a face um to, uh, facing towards the left hand side just now so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna um, copy duplicate the layer just click on this layer with the plus sign I'm gonna click on it and it's gonna create a new layer and it's gonna you know, duplicate the layer that we had selected so I'm gonna rename it as uh, side face yeah now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna edit this layer and uh, this shape without adding any points notice uh, I'm not going to add any point nor I'm going to delete any point. I'm simply going to change the uh, location of the points just to place them uh, at positions where it's going to feel like as if the guy is looking in the left hand side. So I'm going to change the shape. You can see I have I have uh, I haven't clicked the visibility off because I'm I'm going to uh, turn it on only so that I can see where my the front face is looking like so that so that I could uh, you know get a guide. I mean to which place I'm gonna, I should place the points. So um, I'm going to shift it here, I'm going to select the eye and with the translate point tool I'm going to shift it towards the left because when you're looking, when the guy is looking in the left hand side all these eyes and the mouth are going to shift it towards the left so I'm going to do the same and same with the nose and with the mouth all right and one more thing if the guy looking is looking towards the left hand side his nose uh, his nose is, uh, will seem as if um, you know a bit coming outwards and the face will also be a little bit i would say turn a bit small from the left hand side right these are small things you know you should focus on it it makes the viewer makes the uh, for the viewer to seem as if it's happening in real i mean so i'm gonna change the shape of this eye I'm gonna turn it a little bit thin because from the side view it's not gonna look the same as the right one all right so I'm gonna mm, this seems fine yeah quite fine and similarly we're gonna do some something similar to the ear this ear is gonna turn quite small it mean, you know that we won't be able to see it Oops. So I'm gonna change it and here we are and one more thing this uh, ear is gonna come to the left hand side somewhere here um, somewhere around here yeah all right this is fine uh, a little bit back cool uh, and the hairs are also gonna shift so I'm gonna click on this these points and gonna shift these hairs a bit makes the view seem as if yeah the head is turning I'll show you in a minute what I mean um, all right fine I have, I have shifted the eyes the nose the mouth even the ear and I've shifted the right ear also so all right cool things looks fine so I'm gonna now I'm gonna add a switch layer so I'm gonna click on this new layer button and I'm gonna click on the switch so I'm gonna name it um, switch press enter now I'm gonna select these two layers hold shift to select multiple layers and I'm gonna click and drag it inside the switch layer when the switch layer turns transparent red and a horizontal bar beneath it just leave the mouse button and here you are both the layers are inside the switch layer you can see the layers have shifted a bit towards the right hand side alright so right now we have the side face selected as I've already told, switch layer at one time only shows the only shows one layer, all right. So we can only see the uh, side face. 
and not different face so i'm gonna right now click right click on the switch layer to select which layer i want to see right now and i'm gonna select different face so we have a front face right now here is a here it is and i'm gonna click on the 24th frame and again i'm gonna right click on the switch layer and this time i'm gonna select the side face all right so here the guy is looking at the right hand side sorry left hand side and if you can if you um drag your header in the timeline so from the 0th to the 23rd frame we have the guy looking towards the front and front face have a front face activated and seen on the only in the front direction and as i move to the 24th frame or ahead the guy is looking in the left direction so this is till now the basic switching but what we are going to do right now is we're going to add interpolation I'll, I'll show you what i mean i'm going to select the switch layer make sure you are on the 0th frame i'm going to select the switch layer and I'm going to open the properties and the settings, layer settings and I'm going to go to the switch panel and I'm going to select this check mark, this interpolate sub layers alright I'm going to check it and I'm going to click OK now see the magic now I'm going to click and drag this header in the timeline and as I move it towards the 24th frame I can see the guy this smoothness in shifting from one layer to the other you see that? This is what we call interpolation between the switch layers. We are moving from front face to the side face, but not in a sudden way as we had seen in the basic switching. We have interpolated them and now you can see how we are shifting the head from one direction to the other. See that? Isn't it cool? I mean, you just made uh, you simply make different layers for different face directions and you simply interpolate the switch layers and you have a smooth head turn now we can improve it a little bit i'm gonna go to the zeroth frame i'm gonna select the side face and i think that the um, eye is not this left eye is, isn't going enough to the left direction as it should be so i'm gonna select these points using select point tool and i'm gonna drag it a bit more here Fine and you can even shift a little bit this nose also and the mouth also you can you know make any more changes as much changes as you want it's all up to you how you make it and now you can see a bit uh, I see a bit more better I'm gonna change the uh, this eye I'm gonna you know, translate it a bit smaller I'm just not satisfied with it. yeah a bit bit here it is and uh, I think fine now if I shift it oops I'm gonna have to select the switch layer yeah now if I shift it yeah much better much much better so this is the basic interpolation <laughs> I mean the interpolation of switches and uh, this is how you do it. We basically use interpolation. The most common thing in which we use it is the head turn, which I have shown you, shown you just right now. You can use it in various ways. You know, turning any object to the left hand side, to the right hand side, or in upward direction. You know, shifting a little bit in any other direction. It. Uh, so this is all about the uh, interpolation in switches. I hope you learned something, and thanks for watching the video. Bye. And yeah, one more thing, you have to make sure that uh, in the switch, in the layers in which you are interpolating, um, you shouldn't add any point or delete any point. Because if you do that, then the interpolation won't work. Uh, let me give you an example. I'm going to go to the uh, side face and I'm going to say, um, what should I do? I'm going to select the translate point tool and I'm going to delete one of the points. So, I mean, what should I do? I mean, okay, let's delete this nose point. I'm going to click on it. All right. So one point has been deleted right now. All right. Now I'm going to select the switch layer. And now if I drag it around, you can see that no interpolation is occurring. No motion is occurring. That's because one of the point has been deleted. The two layers does not have the same number of points and the, you know, they are automatically mapped inside the Nine Studio Pro as you interpolate them. So you need to have same number of points. You shouldn't add any point or delete any point or, you know, something like that. So this was all about the interpolation and that's all.
Thanks for watching.